Hello, and welcome to Lime Tube. This is Unneeded History, the show where you learn about parts of history that you don't need to learn about. I'm your host, Lime, and this video's topic will be the defenestration of Prague. If you're like me and are way too obsessed with history, you'll know that some names of historical events, such as the Great Depression, don't actually tell you very much about the event that they're describing. The defenestration of Prague is different, and its name is actually quite an apt description of the event. The word defenestration comes from the Latin root fenestra, which means window. To defenestrate means to throw out of a window, either literally, as in chucking somebody out of a window, or figuratively, as in kicking a politician out of office. As will be seen later in this video, both, descri both descriptions fit the defenestration of Prague. Prague is a centuries-old Central European city that is currently the capital of the Czech Republic. Though you might think that these two obscure and seemingly unrelated topics would rarely meet, there have actually been several defenestrations of Prague, as many as four depending on who's counting. This video will only discuss the second defenestration of Prague, since the second is the most important and interesting of the defenestrations. Now for some background of the defenestration of Prague. From the fall of the Roman Empire until the Napoleonic era, most, much of Europe, including Prague, was ruled by the Holy Roman Empire, the HRE for short, which, to be clear, is not the same as the Roman Empire. The HRE had one major problem throughout its history. It was divided in almost every way. It did have a unifying religion, however, Catholicism. That is, at least, until 1517, when the Protestant Reformation started and spread Protestantism, a new branch of Christianity, across Europe, further dividing the HRE on religious grounds and sparking a series of bloody Protestant versus Catholic wars. It is in this context that the defenestration of Prague occurred. Prague, part of the Kingdom of Bohemia, was a mostly Protestant area of the HRE. Since 1526, Bohemia was under the control of Catholic Habsburg monarchs who, though disliking Protestantism, mostly allowed toleration for Protestants in Bohemia, notably with the Letter of Majesty, which allowed the building of Protestant churches on noble and town land. An issue arose between the Bohemians and the Habsburgs, however, with a disagreement about the aforementioned Letter of Majesty. The Habsburgs thought that the letter only allowed Protestants to build on town and noble land, but the Bohemian Protestants thought that the letter also allowed Protestants to build on the king's land. So, as you might imagine, the Habsburgs became quite angry when Bohemians started building Protestant churches on royal land. The tensions only grew from here. The Habsburg ruler, Emperor Ferdinand II, ordered to end the Bohemian construction, which caused a Protestant Bohemian assembly to protest against him. Ferdinand, irritated by the Protestants, dissolved the Bohemian assembly. Then, the Bohemians decided to hold a court hearing against two Catholic politicians, William Slavata and Jaroslav Martinik, on charges of not following the Letter of Majesty. The politicians were brought to Prague for a trial in the third floor of Prague Castle. On May 23, 1618, the trial commenced, and, unluckily for Slavata and Martinik, the judge and jury were native Bohemians, mostly Protestant. So, knowing that they would be deemed guilty, and assuming that their punishment would be imprisonment, Slavata and Martinik admitted to not following the Letter of Majesty. Instead of imprisonment, however, their punishment was an instant death sentence. By instant death sentence, I mean a death sentence where they were killed on the spot. As soon as the judge finished reading the verdict, people from the crowd rushed to throw the politicians out of the nearest windows. The politicians then experienced a three-story drop, 70 feet until they hit the ground. Somehow, both Slavata and Martinik survived with only minor injuries. 
Catholics claimed that this survival was caused by divine intervention, but Protestants claimed that the politicians only survived because they fell into a pile of excrement. Historians today still aren't sure about why Slavata and Martinik survived, with no valid evidence supporting either claim. So why is the defenestration of Prague important? Because it started the Thirty Years' War. The defenestration of Prague was, for all intents and purposes, a bohemian revolt against Catholic Habsburg rule. It started a civil war in the HRE, wherein Catholic areas fought against Protestant areas. Other European nations soon joined in to promote their branch of Christianity or their political agenda. The Thirty Years' War lasted for, unsurprisingly, 30 years, from 1618 to 1648. It is one of the deadliest wars of all time. It killed about 8 million people, including around 20% of all of the Germans of its time. 20%. To recap, Protestants and Catholics in the HRE hated each other. They hated each other so much that a group of Prager Protestants threw their Catholic politicians out of a third-story window, causing a decades-long civil war which killed millions of people. And that's how we should impeach Donald Trump.